हेलो माय लवली फ्यूचर कॉर्पोरेट मजदूर सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मोस्ट आज कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क क्वेश्चंस इन टीसीएस इंटरव्यू सो लेट्स मूव ऑन विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम एंड डू हिट अ लाइक बटन इफ यू वांट दिस वीडियोस ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज अ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क सो यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ टू और मोर कंप्यूटिंग डिवाइसेस ओके दैट कनेक्ट टुगेदर टू शेयर रिसोर्सेज लाइक files internet printers and applications you can see an example or network in your college computer lab where computers share internet and printers so this is uh, the example of computer network and what is the purpose of computer network that is communication and obviously resource sharing so types of computer networks are there are lan man wan and pan so lan is local area network that covers a small area like home offices okay example is your college lab network is a local area network and man is metropolitan area network which covers a city or large campus example a city a city's metro wifi and wan is covers a country or world example the internet that you are currently using to see my video and pan is uh, personal area network which covers very short range uh, like bluetooth which connects phone and speaker uh, what is the osi model so first you need to know osi stand for open systems interconnection so it is a model uh, of several layer conceptual model for understanding how different networking protocol interact okay so it it is like sending a letter through the post office for example each layer handles part of the communication process just like preparing the letter packing it delivering it and finally opening it so this is how uh, a sending a letter works just like that osi confirms how we are going to interact with someone or how we are sending the data so these uh, models cover that so the first layer is physical layer which is used to transmits raw bits okay example ethernet cable is used for that data link layer which is uh, the functioning of mac addressing and error detection and example is switch network layer is used for routing and ip addressing and example is routers transport layer is used for reliable delivery using tcp and uh, obviously ports then example is tcp ensures packets arrive in order okay the session layer is used for start and end the con communication uh, it example is login sessions presentation is used for data formatting and encryption example is ssl or jpeg or mp3 application layer is used for user interface to network example web browser like http or email uh, such as smtp the next is tcp versus udp so the, the first thing you need to see the tcp versus udp how it looks like so udp is just a simple thing uh, you, uh, receiver will uh, send the request and sender will uh, send the response that it's but in tcp it is like if a receiver sends uh, data to the sender he will first acknowledge then he will send the next response then again if receiver uh, receives that data then he will acknowledge yeah i have received and then send the next portion or you can say next data on and uh, any response uh, this will uh, be uh, the whole thing works so you can see reliability tcp ensures all packets are received whereas udp may lose packets because um, even sender is not uh, giving much uh, interest in uh, seeing that receiver receives data or not so may lose the packet and connection is um, tcp has connection oriented uh, connection whereas udp has connectionless um, connection other than that tcp is slower due to error checks because tcp is like it checks properly if the data has received or not any packet is lost or not uh, if it is in correct order or not everything tcp handles but udp don't um, think of that sometime it is reordered or sometime you lose the packets like that so it is faster uh, and the next is use cases like email and file transfer we uh, use tcp and udp is used for video streaming or gaming 
example you can see tcp is like a phone call both parties confirm they are connected and udp is like sending a letter no confirmation after that ip address uh, so what is ip address an ip address is uniquely identifies a device on a network okay uh, it is of two type mainly ipv4 or ipv6 so ipv4 is of 32 bits and it looks like this uh, 192 dot 168.0.1 that is in decimal format but ipv6 is of 128 bit support more devices and it looks like hexadecimal 1 colon db8 double colon and 1 so formatting is different so what is dns that is domain name system so dns maps domain name to ip addresses okay so uh, you can type www.google.com so dna translate it to 142 point means its uh, ip address so your browser can fetch the web pages means whatever you type it will transfer in into ip address and then browser will fetch that web page browser don't know what you are writing that uh, www.google.com the dns work for you and it translate into the ip address and then you will get the response uh, after they will search so without dns we would need to remember the numeric ips for every website so dns make it easier that we just uh, directly type whatever we know uh, otherwise ip address remembering is so hard HTTP versus HTTPS. So HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol. Uh, it is used for transfers data in plain text. Whereas HTTPS is encrypted data using SSL and TLS. Okay, guys, you should remember in HTTPS we use SSL and TLS for ensuring. Okay, ensure secure data transfer. Um, after that why it is important for security especially in banking or personal info submission uh, correct position after that mac address mac stand for media access control address it's uh, hard coded into the device network card you should remember that and example you can see this is how we write the mac address and it ensures the devices within a local network can be uniquely identified okay so it is used for uniquely identifying uh, net a subnet is a sub network okay that divides a network into smaller efficient parts to reduce consumption so you should remember that it divides the network into smaller efficient parts to reduce consumption example a company has one big network but creates subnet for hr finance and engineering for better performance and enhanced security this uh, this example uh, you should remember for remembering the subnet okay ERP is address resolution protocol so what is that maps an IP address to a MAC address okay it maps an IP address to a MAC address works within a LAN okay local area network example if IP address is needs uh, MAC info it sends an ARP request address switch versus hub versus router so hub uh, its role is to base uh, basic device send data to all the ports okay and uh, data forwarding uh, it broadcast to all the devices at the same time so hub is for that and switch is little bit is smarter uh, hub is a basic device okay and switch is little bit is smarter sends data only to the correct mac okay hub is not uh, knowing that whom to send so they send all the ports and it get broadcasted but in switch uh, the data is on, uh, sent it only to the correct mac address and data forwarding is used as unicast means you can send to the particular mac after that router router connects different networks using ip addresses okay uh, data forwarding is route data across the networks firewall next so a firewall acts as a security guard okay monitors data going in and out means whatever data is going uh, in and out they manages that and filters whatever uh, is there uh, like a barrier so blocks or allows traffic based on security rules can be software window defensor or hardware based 
आफ्टर दैट फोर्टीन सॉकेट अ सॉकेट इज अ कॉम्युनिकेशन इंड पॉइंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ आई पी एड्रेस एंड पॉट नंबर ओके द सॉकेट इज अ कम्युनिकेशन इंड पॉइंट गाइज इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ बोथ आई पी एड्रेस एंड पॉट नंबर यूज इन क्लाइंट सर्वर मॉडल एग्जाम्पल अ वेब ब्राउजर कॉम्युनिकेटिंग विथ वेब सर्वर ओवर अ पॉट एटी नेक्स्ट इज टी सी पी थ्री वे हैंड शेक सो हाउ हाउ इट वर्क लाइक क्लाइंट सेंड टू द सर्वर वॉन्ट टू टॉक देन सर्वर विल एक्नॉलेज दैट एंड देन सेंड ओके लेट्स टॉक एंड देन क्लाइंट विल एक्नॉलेज दैट या कन्फर्म मीन्स देर विल बी थ्री वे ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन मीन्स कन्फर्मेशन डेट दो बोथ आर कनेक्टेड okay there will be relation established after that so now a reliable uh, connection is established for data transfer next is static was a dynamic ip so static is assigned manually there will be no change an example our server and dynamic is by, uh, assigned by dhcp and there will be changes and example is your home wifi devices IPv4 and IPv6 we have already seen but once again the difference uh, in IPv6 the difference is 32 bits whereas in IPv6 sorry IPv4 the uh, bit size is 32 and IPv6 it's 128 address format of IPv4 is in decimal format whereas um, the IPv6 in the hexadecimal format you can see the example it is in decimal format and it is IPv6 is in de uh, hexadecimal format and the addresses uh, can be um, uh, near to the 4.3 billion but in ipv6 uh, almost infinite addresses can be there so ipv6 solve the shortage problem of ipv4 because after 4.3 billion it get shortage so uh, ipv6 is used for almost uh, it can be infinite what is nat that is network address translation so nat allows multiple devices in a lan to share a single public ip for accessing the internet okay nats allow multiple devices okay in lan it allows multiple devices to share a single public ip okay for accessing the internet translate private ip into public ip and vice versa okay Uh, if ip is private it translate into public ip if uh, it's public it can translate into um, private ip and helps in conserve ipv4 addresses next is bandwidth versus latency so what is bandwidth bandwidth max data transfer rate is bandwidth uh, it its unit is in mbps and example is 100 mbps fiber plan and latency is uh, delay in sending the data which is in um, microsecond and the 30 microsecond ping in game so low latency is crucial for real time apps like video calls the next and the last is client versus server so obviously the client is re uh, you always request service and server provide the service the uh, client is less powerful whereas server is more powerful an example of client is browser mobile app whereas web uh, server uh, example is web server and database server so the final and all the best guys uh, do not get panic in the interview whatever you know just explain in your own word if you try to remember the things you will just forget so say whatever you know about the concept i have explained you even if you want to go in depth then do go and check on the ai tools or the google whatever you get just understand the concept and don't get worried guys everything will be fine the interviewer is also you know human you should just be confident nothing can stop you all the best guys and guys please do your best because if you didn't got selected then you will regret forever so better to give your best and uh, be happy always bye bye and do subscribe